Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to JCTV. My name is Orlando from the Dominican Republic. I work for Royal Caribbean International, but this show is not part of Royal. This is my personal hobby. This is what I do at home. You might be wondering why you have a mask and why she doesn't have a mask. Introduce yourself and tell them why you don't have a mask. Hello, my name's Debbie Albano. I am a guest on the Royal Caribbean ship Allure of the Seas. Yes, I like that. <laughs> The reason why she doesn't have a mask, ladies and gentlemen, is because she's on vacation. I'm not. I'm here to work for you, to give you great entertainment and everything. But guess what? We're going to have a scavenger hunt. Yes. She's my third guest doing the scavenger hunt, and I want to thank you for that. No problem. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit about all oh, the dogs? And what's, what's his name again? I forgot. Kermit the Frog. And, so what, and what about We have one? Kermit the Frog. We have... George, the Little Blue Dragon, and we have Jackson the Minion. They've traveled around the ship, so they get pictures with the um, captain. They get pictures with the chef. But they don't I'll, have a picture with me. Well, because they wanted to wait for their last night so that they can, you know, they have to make up, their, <laughs> worry about their makeup. They will get a picture with you. I hope so. But I have a personal picture with you. Oh, I like that. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what about this one, Debbie? You That's about this SpongeBob. One. So when um, you're sitting out on the pool deck, if somebody has a problem trying to find you, I put a towel that looks like okay. Bikini Bottom. And then I put SpongeBob there so that all of my friends or family, if they're cruising with me, okay. they know where they can find me. Nice. On the pool deck. Nice. Debbie, but I see that you have a website. I mean, you, you have a group on Facebook, and I see you have a lot of pictures of ducks. Correct. The uh, Royal Caribbean has cruising ducks. Cruising ducks. It's called Royal Caribbean Cruising Ducks, and there's also cruising ducks. So what the older generation, because they want to have fun too, so what they do is they hide little ducks around the ship, and then they put where they're from. You're supposed to photo yourself with the duck. Having a picture, and then they, then how, they how do they send it to you? They, t they won't go on Facebook. And oh. they put down that, if they can put down where they're from or anything like that. And then once they put it down, they have a choice between hiding it again. Or keeping it. Or keeping it. I'm pretty sure a lot of children when they find it, they keep it. Because they're adorable. Look, they're beautiful. Uh, children. I think adults do too. Yeah, adults as well. <laughs> <laughs> adults as well. So, so, what about this wonderful gentleman right here? Does he behave? George, no. He's not being, no? No, no, oh, no. So they've been pictured. Uh, they steal bottles of liquor and go to each day of the week <laughs> in the elevators and take a picture <laughs> of what they've had to drink that day. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they follow you. Wherever you go, they go as well, right? Yes, they have to. For how, for how many, I mean, for how long they've been on the loo of the seas? Nine weeks. It'll be nine weeks. Nine weeks because you're leaving next around. I'm leaving. Yep, I'm leaving on Sunday to and go when back. Where are you coming back? I'll be going on to the Liberty of the Seas. Oh, you look at her, Liberty. <laughs> okay, hello. So I'm cheating on you. I'm sorry. Yeah, Debbie, how do you feel uh, being on a ship for so long? I like getting to know the crew. Yeah. Because they're the reason why we can cruise. Correct. And they make it worthwhile because. They've given up a lot in order yeah. for us to cruise, and they make it. Like my room steward, we yeah. have a situation right now. He, he threw down. He says, all right, this is a challenge. Yeah. Every day I have to do a different towel animal for him. So now you're doing the full, you, you trying to make him happy now. Yep, because okay. he did a very nice one, so I proceeded to make one for him, and he says, what was that? And I said, well, that's a towel animal. And then I had a <laughs> three, uh, a, a Kit Kat, and I put it as its tongue. I said, well, that was yours to eat. Yeah. And so, does he like it? Oh, my gosh, he loves it. But I'll Oh, he's a girl. What, what's her name again? He. Oh, he's Vien Vien is from, in, I believe it's Indonesia. Or Indonesia, the, Philippines. It's Indonesia or the Philippines, but Vien is amazing. He's amazing. He makes me laugh. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go to the Law of the Seas, I hope you're going to have the end. Right, and then what you have to do is you have to make a towel animal. Even if it's just a rolled up towel yeah. that looks like a snake. Hey, it's a towel animal. Yeah, that's for you. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs>
So, Debbie, she was doing the scavenger hunt. Uh, you were doing batch, right? Which yeah. one did you batch or? No. Todd. Todd, Todd Haley. Okay, yes. Okay, Todd Haley. Yeah. How was the experience? Exhausting. I know. Because you had to go from each deck to count the life rings. <laughs> but there's so, a reason why we're doing the scavenger hunt. So that you learn everything about the ship. And also you can do steps. Oh, I do that anyways, because yeah. the only way to eat chef's food, because you know the chef has wonderful yeah. food, because I've always said, if Kenny, the food and beverage manager, were to make the food, okay, <laughs> then I wouldn't have to worry about eating it, because he wouldn't be as good as chef. Okay, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so I asked Debbie to get some questions ready. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Get ready. Debbie, are you ready? I'm Let's ready. Let's get ready. Now you need to do this scavenger hunt. Let me explain to you the rules. Number one, three rules. Number one, uh, don't go to guest services to ask information because you know they're polite. Guest services on the loo, that team is amazing. They, but they won't give you the information and I don't want you to get upset because this is the deal that I, w I have with them. Not to give the information. They didn't give you any information. No. No, because that's cheating. Now, you can ask any crew members, but not guest services. You can ask any crew member where can I find this? What is this? What is this? Because what I'm trying to do with this scavenger hunt, you can socialize with the other crew members, not guest services. Guest services? Because you always, always socialize with them. Yeah, but guest services, they know everything. You They're know supposed I mean? to. Well, I know, yeah, but they know everything. And this is why I don't want anybody to cheat and go there. Right. Uh, also, what else, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, second rule. Second rule. Don't take the information from other team. Don't ask the other teams, where did you find this? Do it yourself. Because this is not a racing competition. Nope. You just need to complete it, and I give you a prize. Yes? Yes. And rule number three, have a good time because you're on vacation. See the Lou of the Seas. It's a beautiful ship. Built in what year? 2010. Well, no, 2009, but it was put into service in 2010. No, no it was 2010. It was in service in 2011. That's the Oasis. Oasis okay. was built in 2009. It was in service in 2010. Okay. Well, I just go to Central Park and look at the emblem that's in the middle of. So then I'm wrong. Then I'm wrong. Then I'm okay. wrong. Maybe. Who know. knows? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get with the scamming here. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Question number one. Okay. How many gardeners are there in Central Park? I like, I like that. So. Did you count them? I did. I There's did. a lot. There's a lot of them. There's a lot. Oof. Yep. Right. Guys, find the Central Park. We're not going to tell you on what deck it is. You need to find it. Right. Question number two. Question number two. Where are the gardeners from? What country? From which country the gardeners they come from? Mm-hmm. I like that. Question number three. Question number three. With all of them, they wear certain jumpsuits. How do you distinguish what position they have? If they are, like, if you have a um, officer, an officer wears a white shirt. I like that one. Orlando today is wearing a very colorful Caribbean, Caribbean shirt because it's Caribbean, Caribbean day. And I don't, I didn't pack mine. Uh. Don't worry about it. You're on vacation. Yes. This is part of our, our uniform because we're wearing St. Thomas. Yes. St. Thomas is beautiful. It oh, is very. Beautiful. beautiful. Yes. Question number four. Question number four. How many blue glass birds are there on the ship? And then where are they located? Are they in one specific place or they're in different places? One specific place. One specific place. You need to find those birds. Okay. Right? Question number five. Number five. And, well, that would be six, because that was that would be six. four and five. Okay. So number six is, how many hot tubs are there on the ship? And oh. the second part of that, what's the difference between the hot tubs? Okay. Remember, to make videos, you don't need to oh, write yes. it down. Just make videos. Make videos. I like that. So then, there's always the boys that are standing around the pool. Those are our lovely lifeguards. And they can help you. Exactly, but hopefully they won't need to help you. They'll usually yell at you because you decide to do a belly flop a belly into the flop. water. Yeah, You're no not allowed flop. to because that's not allowed on the ship. Yeah, not jumping. And it's because we don't want you to get injured. Correct. Right. Here we so, go, next question. How many lifeguards are there? 
Oh, that means that they need to start counting on the lifeguards? Yep, or you go to the lifeguard stand. Let's make it better. Write their names. But also there's a few of them that are different. They're in supervisory positions. Yeah. So how many are there? And we can write down where they are from. Okay, I'll give you that. Write it down or make a video. And then the countries that they're from. How many, number eight, or nine, or I have no idea, we've lost. <laughs> How many dining rooms are there, and what floors, and what are their names of the dining How rooms on the ship? How many dining rooms are on the ship, and on what floors they are? I mm -hmm. love it. Because a lot of people, they get confused with the dining room. I love it, that's a good one. Sick, because there's tons of places to eat, because there's really no food on the yeah. ship. Yeah. There's no me. food. There's a lot of places for them to eat. There's no food. Yeah, there's right. no food. Wow. Okay, so the last one that I have. How many lines are there going across the ticker tape in the promenade? You know how um, New York City has Times Square. Okay. So how many lines are there in the promenade, like New York City's Times Square? Uh, I don't know the answer for this one. Are you going to give it to me after? Maybe. Okay. Guys, I need the answer because I don't know that one. <laughs> I don't know. So how long do they have to finish? How long do you want to give them? Two days, a day, three days, the whole cruise? It's up to them because it's fun because if you involve kids. Now, see, I only had Kermit, George the Blue Dragon, and Jackson the Minion and because. They were helping you. Yes, they were. <laughs> yes, because we had to do YMCA. So it was a little difficult because they are <laughs> impaired a little bit. <laughs> yeah, with that, uh, that's, that was uh, Todd Haley, scavenger hunt. He was yes. asking for the YMCA. Yep. That was funny. That was really funny. Guys, I'm going gonna to give you really good prices. Now, you might be, af you might be asking, how are you going to get your prices? Okay, once you finish the scavenger hunt, that's when you can go to guest services and ask them, can you find me Orlando? Can you call me Orlando? I'm going to be there for you guys. You finish. You go to get services, or you can ask any crew member to call me, and I'm going to be there for you in order to check all the answers and everything. Right. So you can ask Mateus, who's one of the guest services, or Iris, who's one of the guest services. Do you know everybody? Yeah. Or Sophia is the international ambassador, ambassador which you she's know amazing. Everybody. She's the only one from the Netherlands on the ship. Boom. In your face. I like that. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the scavenger hunt. Debbie, do you want to tell anybody, uh, everybody anything about the Lou of the Seas, about your experience in nine months? I mean, nine weeks you've been here. Yep. Um, the biggest thing is if you talk to the crew, you will make their day. If you remember something funny, yeah. like when I was going up the elevator on Sunday, I saw two of the activities personnel teasing. He, She was chasing him and... Yeah. He was squealing like a little girl. So needless to say, every time I see them, I say, is he doing his job? Is he squealing again? So oh they're very God. embarrassed that I found out, but they also can laugh because like they're that. the reason. You know, yes, they're working their butts off, Yeah. but they are people too. Yeah. Thank you so much for that. Thank That's, you. That is, that is a really good comment. And when you leave this Sunday, I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss gonna you. I'm gonna miss these guys. Yeah. Kids, remember, when you find it, you can take it or you can hide it. The ducks. The ducks. Sorry, this is a special one that I make. I crochet. So I made one special one that's going to be hidden on this week. And I've on hidden, yep, I've hidden one each week. So if you're ever on the ship and you see me, I will be hiding a special crocheted <laughs> figurine on the ship yeah. wherever we're at. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie, you've been so nice with us. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Orlando. Remember, if you like this, you can follow JCTV. I'm going to keep bringing more videos for you in my YouTube channel. Thank you, guys. Take care.